Yo, what's good everybody? This is Saber Wolf 4 and I'm gonna show you guys a few matches with the Draconite GX deck. Very difficult to really make use of and have success with, but since it's the only stage 2 GX they gave us, and since it does have a little bit of potential when you make it work, I decided to use it. And we're gonna show some matches, of course. So, open up with my Dratini here, since it's the only basic Pokemon besides Tapu Lele GX. Uh, we gotta keep the Lele in hand, play it, when is my turn, so I can grab a supporter. And straight up, my opponent is gonna open up with this new and new 2 GX, another new card uh, from Unified Minds. It definitely has a lot more potential than something like Dragonite GX. Uh, because of the ability perfection, you can do many, many rad things, like my opponent is gonna show us here. Make use of many different Pokemon. Dump Pokemon on your Disco Pile or play them down on your bench. And you can copy all sorts of attacks. Do all sorts of uh, uh, crazy shit. Alright, so gonna go with the Switch there. Attach the DC and go with a sizable Lily. Not bad. Get another Dratini and also get the uh, Latias too. Uh, Latias is only kind of good if you open with it. I don't really have any free retreaters so we can try and get this... Pokemon active most of the time when we play, but it's sort of a an option there, like an extra alternative to grab energies. Mostly what you want to do is just put the DC on, evolve, and then just luckily see the triple acceleration energy. Okay, so my opponent is going to go ahead and go with Welder straight off the bat, something that you can do with this new two, of course. Remember, since you can copy any Pokemon's GX's attack. Now, obviously, you can put Fire Energies on this dude and just copy Reshiram GX's attacks and just have Psychic coverage, too, on top of that. So, this is probably something my opponent is going to aim to do. He attached one of the Unit Energies or Rainbow Energies. Uh, Welder, putting two Fire on and grabbing a few cards. And let's see what he's going to do. Get rid of my Stadium immediately with uh, this new... Uh, I forgot what it's called, but like the oven thing, whatever the fuck. Reminds me of a cool stage in Castlevania, Lament of Innocence. But let's not get into that. Um, but, you know, the only reason I played Sky Pillar is just to maximize my drawing with Lily. I don't think it, this is a stadium that I'm really going to make use of. My opponent probably won't be sniping and sprinting on my bench. So, Mr. is treasure. What are you going to grab? And it seems he's going to grab... Let's see. Waiting for him to make the search. Don't keep me in suspense. Oh, shit. Okay, so Latios. Latios uh, GX. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Another new card from Unified Minds. This one isn't, isn't very good. I like the artwork. I like that it's Latios because Latios is one of my favorites, of course. But it just has many bad things on it. The only good thing about it is the attack. But since you're going to use a Pokemon like Mewtwo here, which is can just copy attacks, you can essentially use Latios like this effectively. Just copy the tag team attack, and Mewtwo doesn't have the drawbacks of that dude's uh, sort of uh, ability and other shit, the shitty GX attack too. So Let's go ahead and use our candy. So Dragonite GX is out. I'm feeling kind of safe now uh, because... You know, having those small Dratinis with DCs, it just sucks when they die. And we're going to grab the Mershadow with my own Mysterious Treasure here. Let's evolve into Dragonair. Attach the DC. My opponent is really very slow here since he did damage on uh, Lele but didn't manage to KO it. Just went with that 120 Latios attack. I don't use any tag team Pokemon so I really don't care about that dude. Then we're just going to... Slowly build up our Pokemon, put the other DC on Dragonair. It's, it's kind of silly to put like a DC, another DC on Dragonite, and then just put a Lightning Energy. What you want to do is spread the DCs around, hopefully, and then just make use of your Triple Acceleration Energy at its best. That's what you want to do, uh, if we see it anytime soon. So, I'm still looking kind of decent. I feel like I'm in control, even though I have a hurt Pokemon. Uh, we can easily just get a one-hit knockout on this new two, so it's no problem as long as Draconite starts attacking. And my opponent is probably going to start feeling the pressure here. He needs to do significant things uh, if he wants to get ahead 
just knocking out this Tapulele GX, you know, isn't isn't very good. Uh, the great thing about Dragonite GX, at the very least, is that once you do get him out, you know, 250 HP and only being a regular GX Pokemon that's going to give two prizes, it's a very good asset, of course. So my opponent going to collect his first two prizes, and he did. He does have the lead, but we're going to start doing, making our comeback here. If I can just see the damn uh, triple acceleration energy, so get rid of your stadium, uh, basically just to get rid of cards from my hand. And Cynthia, I hope I get lucky here, and of course we don't. Damn, but th this is the problem with with Draconite. It's just that you really have a bigger reliance on not only just one special energy, just two special energies. At least with something like Nido Queen, even if you don't have like triple acceleration, if you just slap a Psychic and then you see like a DC, you can make it work. But something like Draconite, if you're just gonna go with manual attachments, you do definitely need the DC and the triple acceleration energy. Otherwise. He can attack, uh, or at least can attack quick enough. So I guess this is one of the situations where I'm going to use the Mac delivery, discard one of the rare candies, and just draw a lot of cards in hand. We don't see the triple acceleration energy again, so this is very unfortunate. Kind of putting my Dragonite in harm's way, not making an attack. I, I can still like make this work, but... It, it sucked that we didn't see an energy, the energy we needed. Dragonite, 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 why are you a pain in my ass? I mean, it's a bit sad because, you know, if it just had maybe, at least if I had like a good cheap attack, like the other Dragonite GX in Dragon Majesty, it's kind of crazy, we have two stage two Dragonite GXs. That one does have a very good first attack, which does the 70 for 1, and that can be very handy. At least we can put pressure this way. And if we had like another sort of a, I don't know, like a GX attack that did like 200 for 3 or something, then, you know, it just it just makes things a lot better. You know, you can just ha be more flexible in terms of attacking. But, you know, with the attacks the way they are on this dude, really you just can make use of Sky Judgment. So my opponent going to discard the Reshiram, there it goes there, and this, this is a bit worrisome because Reshiram with a choice band, or like this Mewtwo with a choice band, can get a one-hit knockout on Dragonite, and that is very nerve-wracking. It would be devastating for me to lose Dragonite like so quickly. It needs to tank a hit, otherwise it's just very, very bad if they can knock it out in one shot. Which is another reason why I feel like this is like a, a shittier version of Reshiram and Charizard GX. You might as well just run that deck as opposed to this Dragonite. If, you, if we're being really honest here, if you really want to be competitive. But my opponent just going to use Guzma, target on a Dragonair. Now this seems kind of silly, but since he can't get exactly like a significant knockout on... A Dragonite, he probably is thinking, okay, I can't get a one-hit knockout on that dude. I don't want to just hurt it. So get rid of the Dragonair, which is a threat and has a DC. And then maybe later on I can get the Choice Band and KO the Dragonite in one hit. So I can see the logic of why he wanted to do it. I think I would just go ahead and hit Dragonite instead. But it wasn't a completely bad move what he made. Uh... Of course, now Dragonite is ready to attack. I just top decked the triple acceleration energy, which is excellent. Finally managed to see it after so much drawing. And now I just really just want to see those kinds of cards, DCs and triple acceleration energy, so we can power up the other Dragonite and finish the game off. So use Nest Ball and get the Tapu Koko. This is going to be a very handy Pokemon to see here. Get a few. Extra energies on my Pokemon. It would have been great if we could just put two on Dragonite, but no, you gotta spread them around. So one on you and one on you, Tratini. And get a little bit of help, I suppose. Nest Ball, number two. Xurgatry. I'm not gonna search this guy. He just seems like a liability right now since we use the GX attack. Let's draw a card with the Judge Whistle. See what I get. Not much. 
and just go with the Sky Judgment, finally get some prizes, and hopefully I see my triple acceleration energy, more of those, so we can keep attacking. Since the Draconite is fresh, I can probably finish the game off here nicely. Yeah, it was kind of a mistake, my opponent, not hurting the Draconite GX when he didn't have another Pokemon ready. So we see it from the prizes. That's very nice. I see a few other things too. And new 2 GX in the active position once again. Uh, my opponent, what are you going to do? You need a few different things to get a one hit knockout on Dragonite GX. You would need like a welder. You would need a choice band, an additional far energy. He has a big hand he could make use of, but I don't exactly know what's in there. I don't know what's going on with his deck too. I don't think I don't feel like he drew a lot of cards, but maybe that's just me throughout the game. So taking his sweet ass time, thinking of what he's gonna do, playing down that stadium again. I think it's called Giant Hearth or some something. It just looks like an oven to me. Uh, something like that. <laughs> and gonna go with the new uh, Cherish Ball. Grab any GX Pokemon. So what are you gonna get? Uh, Jirachi, I guess to eliminate his weakness. Uh, what's that Pokemon going to do to you? He didn't use his GX attack though, so... She could copy Jirachi's GX attack and try and buy himself some time. Uh, plays down the... Uh, Dedenne, drawing a few cards, and he does have quite a variety in the Discord pile, as you guys can see. There's Greninja GX there. There's Dragonite GX too. Uh, Reshiram, a few other Pokemon. So, just a lot of versatility with this Mewtwo, being able to copy so many broken attacks. Uh, unfortunately, though, it doesn't seem like he has anything that can really hurt Dragonite. Uh, so, just going to do 30 to me. I don't know why he just did that. But since I have the Triple Acceleration Energy, it's basically game. That's sort of uneventful. You guys knew I had it in hand. But, just play that down. I guess play a few more cards. Uh... Just drag the game out a bit too. Uh, Volkner, get the energy of Lotto. I guess we could have could have tried and dug for another one too. But triple acceleration energy is all I need. We're gonna attach it right now and go for game. So it's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this video with your friends. My opponent scoops right there. But it was a good first start, I guess, for Dragonite GX. Thank you guys for watching. Say Bullfire 4. What's we'll say?